In this video we will talk why and how to plot a double y plot. So let's start this data file. Okay, as we can see here that we are having one x column and three y columns. In the x column I am having the position of dosimeters and in the B column, I'm having the experimental readings of these dosimeters. In the C column, I'm having the theoretical readings of such dosimeters or such positions. While in the third column, I'm having the percentage dose difference between the experimental and the theoretical. Now I will have to plot it, but the problem is that as I plot this data, then over here the magnitudes of this and here are comparable, but this magnitude is so small. So as I plot it, then you can see that the experimental and the theoretical measurements are here, the readings are here, but the percentage dose difference is so small that under this scale it is not readable. So in order to make this figure publishable or polish this figure to a good quality such that it can represent your data in a very good manner, we will have to adopt the double Y plot. So keeping the data here and now go here and click double Y plot. As I click the double Y plot, then I see that it is not picking my plot is desired because I want it to have on this axis the experimental and the theoretical values and on this axis I want it to have the percentage dose. So this can be corrected by clicking the layers we will have to manage the layer these are two layer data now I click on the first layer and here I can see that the B is here and the D is here. The D wasn't supposed to be in layer 1 so I remove this one here and I just bring C here. So the average response of the experimental and the theoretical is here in layer 1 and then I go to layer 2 and on layer 2 I am having the average response which I don't want to be on layer 2 so I moved it here and the percentage dose I want to be on layer 1. Now before pressing apply or ok we will have to check here that the rescale on apply is checked otherwise the data will go here and there so when I press ok now on this axis I am having the percent dose difference and on this axis I am having the readings. Now the data is in a good manner but let me polish this data more. Let me convert this into a scatter plot. So I selected that one and convert it into a scatter plot and here I select it and convert it into a scatter plot. Now let's see that to the dosimeter the experimental let's say I give a color and the color is let's say red and I applied this one and then to this one the next one which is the theoretical one I selected another color let's say I selected color blue and it is here okay now it has turned it blue and for the layer 2 when I click here, let's say I select a different color and let's say I select the olive color here. Um, so apply and OK. And now I am having over here the experimental value, the theoretical value and this is the percentage difference here. Over here I am having more percent difference and over here the percent difference is exactly zero because the two values are overlapping. Now when such a situation comes in the two values are overlapping then 
it is also in the meaning that like here only one value is reported and not the other value so in order to resolve such a situation let me convert this experimental value into some like this one and here i give it the h thickness equal let's say to 40 or 30 so here red and i just apply this one and i increase the size of this one as well up to 12 and i apply now i can easily see that over here is a value here is the eclipse value and here now the two values are different because inside this one is this value and they are at the same point so that's why the difference over here is zero percent and here we are having the values and here the maximum percentage dose difference so this way we can represent our data in a very good manner in a publishable way thank you for watching the video